Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 50 Widening Public Meeting. My name is Derek Dean, and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the plans for widening State Road 50 from Chuliota Road to State Road 520. We encourage your input, and there are many ways to provide feedback. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For those listening to the meeting over the phone, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-8. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-8. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501 DeLand, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is on East Colonial Drive, or State Road 50, from just east of Chuliota Road, or County Road 419, East River Falcons Way, to State Road 520 in Bithlow. The purpose of this project is to increase roadway capacity and enhance safety along the corridor. The roadway is experiencing congestion and future traffic projections indicate the need to widen the road from four to six lanes to serve the community's needs. Currently, East Colonial Drive within the project limits has two 12-foot wide travel lanes and a four-foot paved shoulder in each direction separated by a 19 and a half foot wide grass median. There are no bike lanes or shared use paths and sidewalk connectivity is limited. This project plans to reconstruct the roadway to provide three 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction separated by a raised variable width median. A 14-foot wide shared use path will also be constructed on both sides of East Colonial Drive to accommodate both pedestrians and bicyclists. 
To enhance safety along the corridor, this project proposes to modify some median openings according to current standards. Reducing the number of conflict points will reduce the opportunity for crashes and their severities. A directional median opening will allow left turns from East Colonial Drive to a side street or driveway. Left turns onto East Colonial Drive at these locations will be restricted, so motorists will have to turn right and then make a U-turn. Improved turn lanes will be provided at median openings and U-turn locations. The project proposes to convert the existing full median openings at Shepherd Road, Cox Road, and at Belvedere Road and 3rd Street to bi-directional medians. Additionally, the existing closed median at the Universal Foam Inc. driveway will be converted to a bi-directional median. Bi-directional medians allow left turns into side streets or driveways from both directions of East Colonial Drive. Drivers wanting to turn left onto East Colonial Drive at these locations will have to turn right and then make a U-turn. The open medians at Berkeley Street and Exeter Street will also be modified to bi-directional medians. Here's a closer look at where the medians will be changed. First, we have a new bi-directional median at Shepherd Road. Next, bi-directional medians will be constructed at Cox Road and at the Universal Foam Driveway, about 1,050 feet east of Cox Road, where there is a closed median currently. And here are the bi-directional medians at the Belvedere Road and 3rd Street intersection and at the Berkeley Street intersection. Finally, a bi-directional median will be constructed at Exeter Street. There will also be locations where the existing open medians will be closed. The closure locations are determined based on national guidelines and are meant to help improve safety and operations along the corridor. The locations are 1,040 feet west and 720 feet east of the Belvedere Road and 3rd Street intersection. The medians will also be closed at 7th Street, Clarendon Street, and 270 feet east of Clarendon Street. Also, the project proposes to close the median openings at Gloucester Street, Lansing Street, and 470 feet east of Lansing Street. Finally, existing open medians located 330 feet west and 740 feet east of the Orlando Speed World, as well as 520 feet west of State Road 520, are planned to be closed. There is one signalized intersection in this project corridor at County Road 13. This intersection will be reconstructed to accommodate the roadway widening. Improvements include new traffic signals and pedestrian safety upgrades, such as new crosswalks and intersection lighting. This project includes adding inlets, pipes, and ditches to capture and carry stormwater runoff. The project will use ponds and ditches to hold and treat stormwater runoff from the road. Due to historic flooding in this area, these drainage improvements are being designed using more stringent criteria to ensure that proposed water flow leaving the project site is equal to or less than water flow currently exiting the area. There are four existing regional ponds along this project corridor that are currently owned by Orange County. These ponds will be modified to accommodate and treat additional stormwater runoff from the widened roadway. The overall areas draining to the ponds will be analyzed to confirm that no adverse impacts to the surrounding areas are created by these modifications. Here is a closer look at those ponds. One is located north of East Colonial Drive at County Road 13. The other three ponds are located south of East Colonial Drive around Lansing Street. Other proposed improvements in this project include new signing and pavement marking features, roadway lighting, and landscaping within the median. The project team is also aware of other projects around this corridor. They include the Grow Community Development, the State Road 50 widening project from Avalon Park Boulevard to just east of Chuliota Road, 
Orange County's Chuliota Road Roadway Conceptual Analysis, which runs on Chuliota Road from State Road 50 to Lake Pickett Road, a drainage project between Colonial Drive and Old Cheney Highway, a new Bithlow storage facility, and the Early Works Project, which is a safety improvements project at Corner School Drive and the Chuliota Road and East River Falcons Way intersection. Coordination with each of these projects is continuing. We are in the design phase of this project, which is anticipated to be complete in spring 2027 at an estimated cost of $4 million. The department is acquiring additional right-of-way from Orange County to accommodate the improvements. Construction is anticipated to begin in fall 2027 at an estimated cost of $50 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted anytime, those submitted by October 9th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-8. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Derek Dean directly by email at derek.dean at dot.state.fl.us. That's D E R E K dot D E A N at dot.state.fl.us. Or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida 32720. You may also call Mr. Derek Dean at 386-943-5161 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 239203-8 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by October 9th. Have a good evening.